But right now we're talking about warmer temps on the way, yes. but it's a cold start. Let's so. get used to it, mm -hmm. right? I mean, I we've had yesterday we were up to 55 degrees, which was 15 degrees above average. We're going to be even warmer than that uh, as we move on into today. By the way, that's your Valentine's Day forecast. I'm going to get it out there right now as I tease you just a little bit, but we're also going to have uh, I'm going to explain why uh, these things are happening now. Uh, I'm not quite sure what's going on here, but we'll uh, let's see here. Okay, well, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna go from today into tomorrow, and then Thursday apparently we've got a big area of. Uh, of high pressure that is going to move through here, dumping some Arctic air in here. Today we keep it dry for the most part. As I showed you, there's a little bit of light rain going on uh, to our west this morning. This is a look at tomorrow. During the morning, and here's Indianapolis, we're going to have a wave of rain on Valentine's Day start to move in from the west. Now as we move into the afternoon, again, this would be uh, after 1 p.m., widespread rain is going to occur in that area. So we've got uh, uh, a heavy dose of rain to the north here, probably light rain and showers, but it could be protracted over some time. And then by late evening, the rain moves out. However, this is going to be replaced. Look at the upper level jet stream stays just the same. So we're going to get some warmer air that will start to move in here. And we're talking about temperatures in the 60s. Now we're going to talk more about this in a few minutes, but let me break down the forecast for today. So a bright and pleasant day, 58 degrees for a high. Tonight, we're down to 33. Tomorrow is Valentine's Day, especially in the afternoon and early evening. We're going to see some scattered showers. Julia has said that an umbrella is pretty much a rotten gift for Valentine's Day. I guess it's not very romantic, you're right, but it still be a good idea. And then tomorrow, uh, or Wednesday, breezy and warm 67. I'm going to talk more about this in the next half hour. A cold front moves through here Thursday night, and we see those temperatures drop considerably. So